Stardate 1-12-09. Aussie Katie, I lost your phone. That, that's all I'm gonna say. Katie Laura. M. Max Rock. Unless they're like mine and are really old and eat videos for breakfast. Like mine does. GYNO. Yeah, you guys, I'm really sucking. Uh, I haven't written, like, anything since my last check-in. I have 3,000 words about. So in order to get my juices flowing a little bit, I thought that I would read you guys um, what I considered the best part of my novel from NaNoWriMo last year. I was tired of it. I was tired of it. All of it. I was tired of the schools, the homework, the pushing. The pushing was the worst. Every day was more of the same. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you use this equation? They all looked to me for answers. I wasn't learning anything. Not like when I was with you. Johnny turned and looked at Trisha's eyes once more. She felt his love for her. I just wanted all of it to stop. I wanted to be normal. I wanted to be normal. Have normal friends. To have a girlfriend. I remember mixing all kinds of toxins in, in class. Seeing the teacher's eyes glow with envy as I showed him a symphony of diseases. I figured if I could make something so horrible that they would think I'm a lost cause, they would either send me away and throw away the key or kick me out. Either way, I'd be away from all of it. But no, they just looked at me with admiration. So I decided it was time to show them how wrong my genius was. Call it teenage rebellion, call it depression, whatever it was, it wasn't healthy. My latest concoction was a mixture of influenza, Montevica, and Ebola. It killed quickly, but painfully. I remember putting a radioactive isotope inside of a can of Coke to slowly eat away at the aluminum. It was a trigger of sorts. I left the can in front of the White House. Johnny moved his hand from his lip and placed it on his forehead. His eyes closed in shame as he continued. I just stood there waiting, waiting for the can to disintegrate. After a half an hour, I walked away. It wasn't going to work, so I walked away, leaving it there for chance. I remember a little girl with her father walking past me. Her face still haunts me. Her pigtails bouncing up and down as she played with her balloon that her father had given her. When I got in my car, I saw the commotion. People started running. People started dropping to the ground. I got out of my car I got out of my car running forward I saw the can the lid had been eaten away just as I wanted only all these people around me were dying their organs liquefying while they drowned in their own blood and all I wanted to do was to die I breathed in as much as I could but but Johnny dropped his head as tears streamed down his face Droplets of salty tears stained the rags that he was dressed in. His mother held him tightly as she could. She knew the reason why, but Johnny had to understand. It had to come out of Johnny's mouth before he would ever be able to move forward. I, I, I don't breathe, he said through the tears. So my question to you guys is, what gets your brains flowing? I mean, for me it can be as simple as reading something or a dream that I had, but right now I'm really stuck. So give me some ideas, guys.